I do not understand where some people, especially politicians and civil servants, get the audacity to do wrong things confidently. Our system, which recognizes the government as a compulsory of the legislators, the executive, and the judiciary, these are, these are institutions that should be, um, we should hold with high regard. But among these institutions, there is one institution which should stand out. Because when we're talking about the executive, we already know that the president is a politician, and therefore we know politicians, and we know politicians are, they lie, they scheme. Hata ni kimweta kimondo, nation leo mumesema is a bully. That is what the man is, a bully. Say what you may, I must do what I must. Asante ni sana. In my previous episode, I say that politicians are people you don't just jump and trust because politicians have interest and they don't tell you the interest they have. They tell you the interest they want you to know. Those were not truths. We want truths because we are living in this world. We live in this world long before we are all gone. We want nothing but the truth. And the truth is as follows. You can't outright just uh, trust a politician. You go to interpret what a politician is saying. In my previous episode, I said you got to, you got to, to have intuition. Uh, you, have, you, have, you 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 got to have a perception, interpretation of what politicians say, so that you can be able to come up with the real meaning. Because politicians say things they do not mean, and they mean things they do not say. So politicians are very charismatic. They they lie, they scheme, and so forth. If you want to rattle a snake, you must be prepared to be bitten by it. So when we're talking about the executive, we know the head of the executive is the president, and we know he's a politician. He can scheme, he can plan, he can buy out people. These things happen, and we know it is happening. These are not stories. Kuna rutombili, nalaka muniambia ni gani munatambua. Ati ni nani? Ati ni nani? Iyo musaawo kabisa na musaawo. Iyo askani. Na mutafute mutu mungine ya kutisha. Eh, tafute ni mungine. Siyo mimi. I will not agree. Then we have the legislators. Of course we know they are politicians. And they scheme, they plan, they calculate, they are strategic and so forth. And that's why we have people like us who are communication strategists. Who we have a lot in planning, in strategizing and so forth. Legislators have been politicians. We know they will scheme. We know they will, they will lie. And we know they will pass bills and they will, they will make laws that foremost benefit them. I don't know if you are aware that any bill that has to do with them any any law that has to be passed which has to do with them getting money or having an in, increment of their salaries and so forth it always goes through but i think we've been here for long and and part of the kenyan problem as i see it and i can't be contradicted on this is that we have and i've said this before that we are in the business if we want to be metaphorical about it that we keep on changing the forests to mean political parties, but the monkeys remain the same with their old habits. Now, we have the judiciary. Judiciary being the third arm of the government is the most important um, as far as uh, protecting our constitution, protecting the citizen and so forth is concerned. Because politicians will make laws, they can lie, they can scheme. But when we come to judiciary, it is in this office that everybody should find refuge. When you have issues in regard to justice, you go to judiciary, you go to the courts. The office of chief justice is such a weighty office, which has such a high esteem that I don't think anyone would just utter words any howling. I do not expect someone like Mother Kome, whereby a representation of half of the country and evidence that has been uh, presented to court, you dare call this hot hair. It is, it is, it is mockery. It is, it is biased. 
And I'm, I'm not saying the decision should have been on this side or the other side. No, I'm cautioning the nature of words which are such an office with, which we hold with such an esteem. And an, an office we hold with high regard should really have better words to deal with these cases. And, and, and the evidence that was presented, it was not a joke. There, there were, there were beings of weighty, weighty um, magnitude, issues presented in that court. And therefore, I'm not here to say the judgment should have gone on this side, on the other side. No, that is not even in my place to say. But it is in my place as a citizen to be worried, to be concerned. When a chief justice uses words like hot hair, mockery, demeaning, you know, demeaning representation of a half of the whole country. Madam Juri Soweto, advocate, to show that one Jose Kamango accessed the RTS and interfered with the result contained therein. This also turned out to be no more than hot hair. These, these are not small matters. And I can tell you for a fact that this will be among the legacies this Chief Justice will go home with. Because she will serve her time and she will be gone and another one will come. There was Motunga, there was Maraga, there is now the current Chief Justice and there will be others after that.